know him. I can't stand seeing a legit member of the public being terrorised by a fucking drug dealing scumbag. I can't tolerate it. Can't tolerate it, mate. And this is what you need to start putting in perspective for all you that are fucking buzzing with it, all you that are looking at it. You've got a kid there that in a moment's flash he's had an opinion about a fraud. How many opinions have you had about frauds? How many times have you come on YouTube screaming about frauds? What would happen if your business got smashed to fuck? What happens if your house got smashed to fuck? What happens if your family starting to be threatened? What happens if your day-to-day -day life is now starting to be affected by a drug dealing criminal because you had an opinion? How would you feel? You couldn't do fuck all. Some of you can because you're still connected to the criminal fraternity in your cities. You know, you're still going down your local pub, sitting there with the coke dealers, saying to them, oh, it's only a buzz on TikTok. Getting back home and then taking TikTok deadly fucking serious. You're just the same as him. Pedals up in the same bullshit circles. That's why you can support him. Off the cuff. With your big deep voice. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking mong. You and your fat curly headed brother. Yes, George, yeah. You all request him to come into the live, bro. Why? So we can say you're a grass. You're a grass. You're a grass. You're a grass. Sound. Is that all you can say to me? I can say one, two, three, four, five, six dirty, nasty, horrible things about you. That's truth. You can say grass, 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 which isn't truth. You know, there's no one sat in jail for Darren G. There's no one being Darren G's cold D and they've been fucked off and Darren snitched in an interview. You can't find one if you can. Please bring it to the fucking front. Been screaming it for years now. Yeah, but the sole purpose is, you know, focus on Corey. You know, you've got a decent young lad there in his community. Setting himself up a little business, being successful, getting his fucking life in order. And now you've got a criminal just come from nowhere and absolutely sidelined him on his path of life. This is what you're looking at. You're looking at a criminal knocking an innocent member of the public off his path of life. Can you not see that? Is that okay with you? You know, you get all these big fucking people going, stay on the path of life, don't let no one knock it off, don't let no one jeopardise your future. Any adversity comes, you keep on going. And now here they are, within 24 hours, 48 hours, backing a rat that's absolutely destroying the life path of an innocent member of the public. Innocent member of the public. Not involved in crime. Not purposely going out of his way to damage people's properties. Not going out the way to purposely make people feel insecure in their own homes. And he's a back on the criminal against it. Is there any wonder crimes through the fucking roof these days? Is there any wonder everything's going through the roof when it comes to crime? Because you're all supporting and turning blind eyes to the perpetrators and laughing at the fucking victims. And I don't see no victims getting much of a fucking shout on this app no more. And what you're witnessing at is someone about to become a victim of fucking crime because you've got a scumbag drug dealer not happy because he's being exposed about a little muck dog that he fell in love with. Shut up, you fucking helmet. The drugs have made your brain into mush. Every time you're crying, it's not over the dog. It's not over this. You're on a come down off your cocaine, you fucking fraud. And that's the truth. Just the way it is. Consider while you're fucking being, where's your moral compass? You've got a young man there getting terrored by a dirty, downright drug dealing scumbag and you're all clapping the scumbag on the back. He's right, he's right, the stalker, yeah. Why? Because the kid who's opinionated had an opinion about you a year before. A hey, proper exposure for who you was and now you're all, oh, this is your turn to jump back on it. I don't even know the kid. He might have been chatting shit about me, I couldn't give a fuck. 
the bottom line is you've got a decent innocent member of the public once again being intimidated and probably drove out of his home by a scumbag drug dealer he's not even dangerous you know he's picked a good target there hasn't he Look at how many people around the city of Liverpool and the surrounding areas, Witness, Runcorn, Ellesmere Port, all them places, crew. Look how many people give him shit. It's not targeted. One of them include myself. Oh, we might go out now and pay a little five grand to get a smackhead to throw a brick through my window. Do you understand? 